Pull out the trailer, pull out the van, load all the equipment in the trailer, get in the van, and here we are in beautiful Tijuana. What he does is he calls the promoter and he says, how'd you like to book this band? The promoter says, fine, we love the band. So here we are with the circle tour. <laughs> As a child, I didn't even understand the idea of DIY music because all you see on TV is big bands and when they show bands playing live, it's always giant arenas. So when I was a kid growing up, I assumed that every live music venue was a giant arena full of people. I didn't even know that you could play in like a 200 cap club or a 100 person venue or something. DIY iaitu kata singkatan bagi do it yourself adalah etika kemandirian dengan menyelesaikan tugas tanpa bantuan pakar berbayar. Etika DIY adalah salah satu faktor terpenting yang mendorong subkaca hak kopang. Ia merupakan satu nilai teras yang paling lazim dalam subkaca ini. Domain etika DIY budaya pang dapat diringkaskan sebagai sesuatu yang pada dasarnya dibuat oleh peminat untuk peminat. It's the concept of having a scene of people, a group of people who come and support those musicians when they tour through their town. I think DIY music heavily relies on the um, involvement and existence of a DIY scene itself. Pertubuhan Hak Kopang pada tahun 1980-an tidak akan dapat dilaksanakan tanpa DIY kerana pada masa itu tidak ada label utama yang menunjukkan minat terhadap Pang. Jadi golongan punk terpaksa mencipta sendiri hampir semua aspek subculture. Etika DIY lahir dari remaja pada akhir tahun 1970-an sebagai satu simbol memberikan jari tengah mereka kepada kumpulan rock utama pada masa itu. It was a, a really unique time when there was a, a lot of creativity going on and a lot of young people were really empowered to go out and make art and and do things on their own for themselves. It, it was really a, a special, unique time. Kewujudan label rakaman independen, press DIY dan venue DIY inilah yang menjadikan subculture hak kopang masih hidup sejak akhir 1970-an. Dengan etika DIY ini telah membolehkan individu yang mencari gaya hidup alternatif berkembang. Label rakaman DIY dan sistem press DIY seperti fanzines mewujudkan rangkaian sosial yang membolehkan muzik dan ideologi hardcore punk diedarkan. Rangkaian sosial ini membolehkan band-band hardcore bergerak dari bandar ke bandar, bermain di tempat-tempat DIY dan seterusnya memacu keseluruhan subculture. Dengan mengawal keseluruhan rantaian pengeluaran dan pengedaran, kumpulan muzik DIY dapat menjalin hubungan yang lebih erat antara artis dan peminat. Etika DIY memberikan kawalan sepenuhnya terhadap produk akhir tanpa perlu berkompromi dengan label rakaman mainstream. But we can try not to forget. We can try every once in a while not to forget that this community, this scene is made up of all of our collective efforts, all of our passions, all of our ideas, all of our voices. And I know each one of us feels like our one voice Is it going to be enough? I feel like my voice wasn't enough. All I wanted was for kids to stop bullying each other, to stop punching and kicking and treating people like they were punching bags. That's going to go on. Tomorrow, that's going to continue. But I needed to try. I needed to just fucking try because if I didn't try, then maybe the kid next to me doesn't try, maybe the person next to him doesn't try, and things just go to shit. 
This is about each and every one of us just trying, just not being afraid to use your voice and hoping to make some impact on something, the slightest change, the slightest dent, to just make this better, to just leave it a little bit better than how we found it, because it deserves that, because I believe that it changed most of our lives, it enriched us in ways that would be different for each and every one of us. We can't go back, but God damn it, we can try to keep it special while we're here. Please, everyone in the room, the balcony, please understand this is the very last time Bane will ever play this song. And how much it's meant to us every night, a hundred nights, to have kids going buck and screaming along to us. Thank you very, very, very much.